Hello everyone, Sven here once again. I'm coming at you with Swords and Sandals 2. This is an old Flash game. Uh, I'm playing it on a hack site just for the sake of being silly with it. And we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with it. I don't know what the hacks are quite, but we're going to create a new gladiator. So we're going to go ahead and make us a hairstyle. Let's see. So I'm not fully sure what the hacks are. I don't know if it's down here. Oh, dang, these hacks. So say, for example, we do this. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty silly. Okay, so I'm not going to do any of the weird health ones. I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, let's see. We are going to go for... We're going to go mullet power on this one. The dark purple mullet, obviously. Stubble? Of course you want stubble. This this looks like a man right here. Strength makes you bigger, if I recall. Yes. Agility, you can go further. Attack? Oh, we want to be strong, right? Defense, which is misspelled. Uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and add a few more points to us. Because we're silly like that, right? Vitality. Charisma. We're not going to worry about the magic, because the magic in this game is only good unless you, if you have like the stat really far up. So... I'm going to throw an extra 30 on that, and then we're just going to throw one more on the strength. So there we go. Prologue. We are enslaved, and then we're found to be a gladiator. Svenre, Svenre, yes, that was your name, but it seems an eternity since anyone has called you that. And so, in a frenzy of blood and the stench of fear, your days as a gladiator begin. I have to go fight the fear for prisoner. Oh, the charge missed. Oh, I, I decapitated that guy. All right, so glorious freedom. We are off to go. Uh, since we're playing hacked, we're gonna go ahead and just have fun with it. We're gonna go to the weaponsmith. Grab the dirk, and we want to go to the armory. Let's get ourselves decked out and stuff. Again, if you guys want to see me play more of this, I actually thoroughly enjoy this game from way back when. I'd have to create a new guy again, but, you know, we can just have fun of it with it. I can do, like, a really long playthrough with it. Get the Brigand set, which is currently the most we can afford. Enter the arena. Yeah, we're going to go tournament. Oh, must be level 4, so I have to duel. Oh, you're going to push me. Yeah, so this is what happens when you hack. Allocate all of them to attack. So we have one more to fight. We're going to dance. <laughs> Gross. Charge. The death stance for them is so silly. So we have one more to do. Got him. Killed blue hair, blue skinned, green haired Jesus apparently. So now we get to go through the tournament. We have to go kill those two, and then we'll go fight the boss, which is John the Butcher. Okay, so we got almost through his armor. Your potions will not save you. Off to Imbaleo the Braggart. Knocked him down. Oh, I cut him in half. That's pretty grisly. Okay, so we're going to add more to our attack. I'll provide a link in the description if you want to play this. Okay, so John the Butcher. So 
So if you want to play this yourself, so I will link this in the description. Ooh, there goes his heart. So I own that tournament. The Woolridge's Meat Emporium Cup. So let's see, what what, what weapons can we get now? Oh. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, nothing. Your indecisive nature sends in fury. You leave now, I cannot bear to look at you. He's a nice person. Yeah, that's all level restricted if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're all, they're all mean. Okay, so I, I gotta go be level 7 for this now. First blood. Oh god. I love the little stumble. Oh, you just pushed me? You don't push me. I will end you. So, I believe, yes, it's four. There we go. I have a little macro to click that. So he still has nothing for me, but we what we will pick up is a is a uh, slingshot. So we have the tournament now, and the slingshot we can switch to a ranged weapon and just hit him. So he's gonna go ahead and leave again. Switch back to our yeah. oh. Like up again. Oh, you see, basically what you do is like that little thing. It's a charge up, and if they sit in that range long enough, and for some reason we're all turned around. Oh, teleport, huh? I can I can do ranged. Woo! Got him. And one more. You have a certain amount of ammo you can use, and then it will auto turn you back in. It's a, uh, it removes one of your turns. And you get more experience if the crowd is more on your side, so. <laughs> We're gonna try to get a little bit closer to him. Was just out of range to charge him. Ooh, it just kind of. No oh no, I gave him a grievous head injury. This toad man. This fight is to the death. Ooh, he really got through me there. Oh, nice teleport. So this is the semi-final bout. Got through his armor. Stripped a piece of his clothing off as well, I noticed. It's just my kind of thing, obviously. <laughs> so, there we go. Lop his head off. And now the evil ninja... Finish this fight. Oh, I got him. Yes. Oh, yeah. Gale pushes you back pretty far. Since he's this far away, I'm just going to go with the uh, slingshot. That's how it looks like both of us are going to go for it. And if your energy at the bottom left gets too low, um, you cannot do any actions, and that's why you've seen people go go to sleep. It's to restore energy. Mm. 
Okay, so we're getting him to move closer. That's ideal. So we're going to bombard him as he comes closer. And we're going to finish that with that, actually. So there we go. That's Sword and Sandals. Pretty entertaining game overall. I've enjoyed it. So I will leave it in the description if you guys want to play it on the hacked site. I ran a virus test. It's perfectly safe. So if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Leave a like. It helps me a lot. Comment if you want to see anything else from me. Um, I have normal series, but Saturdays I'm open to fan suggestions and such like that. So this has been Sven. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.